Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 39 of Let's Play Infinite Adventures. Oh, quickly, the mad scientist defeat Shy Lorath. 21.9% of players have that achievement. Just got it last episode. If you didn't see that battle that we attempted twice last episode, I really implore you to go back and watch that video, episode 38, because that battle is crazy. And <clears throat> we barely win. But uh, beyond that, oh, we're going to have to rest again. Also, um, we discover that we're a little bit under leveled for everything that's going on here. So let's go ahead and buy some sundries. We need salves. We need like. 29 of them for our usual 35 um I don't know healing mist and I used a healing mist and a potent healing mist last episode uh but it is what it is um let me go ahead and buy a healing mist and uh did we do our level ups I think we did um, today we're going to be exploring floor 11 most likely and just kind of fighting a lot more because we're going to uh, turn the encounter rate up a little bit. Be right back. All right, I am back. Okay. So yeah, let's go. Let's head right to the uh, floor where the nastiness went down. And let's see if there's any story events here. Um, whoop, I don't need the mouse. What am I doing? I'm going to turn the encounter rate to normal. Even though encounters are kind of draining in the, se in the sense that they, you go through your supplies much quicker versus exploration. On a half, 0.5 encounter rate. But it's all good. I'm in no hurry. Hope you guys aren't either. If you are in a hurry, then... Probably watching the wrong <laughs> Let's Play. But you'd know that by now. Alright, so... Hmm... While we're here, before we head down, let's at least if we must fight, then I'll make it fast. Go hit that gathering point or whatever. Um and empower an icicle against all hawk shot. And uh, go ahead and throw a blind on these guys. See, I'm probably wasting the blind, the MP for that, the magic for that, because uh, we end up handling this combat pretty easily, this encounter, the same encounter, but right now, I'm kinda getting rocked. This one's mine. Critical hawk shot. Death. Critical attack. I'm flying the one. <laughs> Ancestral vengeance attack. Oh, weapon throw. It costs no rage. Throwing attack plus physical damage plus generate range. 155 range attack. I'd like to see what it does. Can we empower it? Let's go ahead and see what it does. Throw a major heal on the front row. Critical weapon throw. Hmm, not much. This ranged attack obviously leaves a lot to be desired. But he can do that to um, generate rage, I guess. 
Fire scales, machine parts, drone parts. So now, uh, Associate Milanza is way ahead of the party in levels because of that epic showdown last last episode. And now, discipline is going to matter a lot more because discipline for the warlord for Sakani, because he can actually get to a point where. Uh, he won't lose as much um, rage per step, so that's going to be interesting. I don't know if he, if you're, we're going to get two consecutive battles where he still has some rage left over, but I guess that's what that is the point of the discipline skill. So we'll see. We have to salve up or heal up here. Thanks. We'll go through this door. Let's see what's through here. All right. Bye, Already surprised the enemy. Um, we'll get a free uh, song of harmony. Paralyze some of them. Harp of harmony, calm their restless souls. Ooh, that nice. Feels good. Okay, let's focus on the non-paralyzed one. I'm gonna lay a... Oh, gotta... That's the gambit that I've been investing in or just started in. Uh, summoning a healing circle when there's not one there. So at the start of battle, they can even summon one for you and we can immediately cast Circle of Blight. How cool is that? I don't think we really need to do all this fancy stuff, but... This one's mine. Boom. Nifty. Still paralyzed and stuff, so. <laughs> I'll help you off the mortal coil. What critical? Prepare to die. Now there's a critical. There we go. Nice timely harp, uh, song of harmony. All kinds of drops. We have that drop item uh, accessory on. Watch a yokai be down this way. Hmm. hmm. There's a yokai. We'll return to the yokai. Huh. We've got three mana potions. Combat, which oh, is always fun. Power and icicle against them all. I'll help you off the mortal coil. Oh, almost. Spell, nice. Hmm. Even pinned down, got a hawk shot off, but it missed. Maybe it wasn't supposed to be gotten off. Let's go with Ancestral Vengeance on you. Go ahead and throw a circle of blight out there. You brutal assault that one. Throw another icicle on everyone. Throw an aim shot on that one. 
And you throw a greater heal. Ooh, that's 80. Throw a major heal on the front row. I generally I missed again. That pin down must be doing it. I generally want to start the combat with Sister Tilly uh, defending so she acts first the next turn. I have to Thank you for your remember that. More din, more XP. And here's where like the rage would kind of matter because we could almost get to the yokai. Um... without, uh, with still having some rage left over. Alright, yokais are pretty simple on this floor. I must fight you. I will win. For duty! Throw a healing circle just so I can throw a circle of blight. Um, empower a shock. Hawk shot and defend. I'll help you off the mortal coil. Nice. Um, let's try Salvo. Strike us one. Together. Oh, together? I thought they all ranged attack at once. Yeah. 2,000. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Huh. There's a block for you. I never paused. Ancestral Vengeance, Circle of Blight, Empower, a Brutal Assault, throw a shock, throw an aim shot, and uh, defend again. Some of that XP that we need. Just not leveling. And an Atlas rune. Very nice. We're just not leveling up that fast here. But when we fought the boss, three Atlas runes. Sick. When we fought the boss, it was just 5625 Denari. I mean, it was just insanity. He was so tough. Um. I guess we're going to head down to uh, Better keep my guard floor up. 11. Power of flame on all them. I like empowering the, uh, the first magic attack. Kind of getting everyone hurt. Come here, you. <laughs> Not too bad of an opening round. Sister Vengeance versus you. Let's get a circle of light out. Um, empower Brutal Assault against that one. Throw flame on the whole shebang. Aim shot that one. And uh, Major Heal and Zostro. Prepare to die. Why don't you go blocking it now? There we go. Nifty. <clears throat> Thank you for your consideration. Bunch of drops. More din. Fulfilled my duty, and live to fulfill it again. 
very little XP. The more, uh, um, what was I going to say? I don't remember. Let's head down. This will open up new quests and stuff that we can check out. Warwick stands over the body of a robot giant. A throwing knife is buried deep in one of its eye lenses. The big ones put up a good fight sometimes. Shylorath is a brilliant scientist. He created all the machines down here. The Vith who served the Ancient of Chaos brought the Shizu to this world. They sought to subvert them, but the Shizu fought back. Huh. Shylorath betrayed his race and sided with the Vith. They taught him the secret of Chaos magic. The Vith left this world and left its subversion to Shylorath. He fused chaos magic with technology and made the army of machines. Huh. The Shizu are blinded by revenge and cannot be reasoned with. The astral maiden gave me a quest. She told me that if I complete it, she will do what she can to aid my escape from this world. There we go. Some worship her as a goddess, but I've always been too stubborn to listen. All great heroes trapped in the labyrinth have a quest they must complete. I feel foolish saying that to you. It was you who first told that to me. You were still unsure of your quest back then, yet you escaped. So you must have fulfilled whatever purpose originally brought you here. Hmm. Why come back? Go home. Before you dive so deep, you become trapped once again. Warwick pulls the knife from the giant's eye and walks away, shaking his head. Hmm. Yokai in a big chest. Not sure of the yokai on this floor. There we go. Healing mist, nice. Or thirty five hundred. I'll cut you like a fish. Okay, now they've added two samurais and Shizu warlocks to the mix. Throw down a healing circle. Empower a flame against all of them. Hawk shot that one. <clears throat> and defend. You off the mortal coil. Nice. Oof. Wow. Okay. We've got to pay some good attention here. There's a nice parry and repost. He's going to cast Guard. Not too shabby of a first round. But dang, the Sorcerers are strong as heck. Thanks. I think I may empower an Astral Vengeance on that one. Hit them with a Circle of Blight. And a Brutal Assault on that one. Flame on all of them. Aim shot just in case that doesn't take care of it. Throw a major heal in the front row. Boom, there we go. Wow. Okay. Set spear versus charge critical. Nice. Front line in this area doesn't have a lot of HP. Staff gears. Is never the answer. Only the means do it. But um they hit melee for a good amount of damage. Excuse me. Huh. We can just assume they're fire square, uh, squares. Okay, let's go ahead and 
heal a bit. Thank you. Ah! I'll my fingers were all messed up. Okay, this is kind of bad. What are these things? Ice pterodactyls. Alright, throw down that healing circle. Attack an ice pterodactyl. You throw a... Throw a fireball at everybody. You hawk shot that one. And you go ahead and throw a major heal on everybody. Oh, nice. Oh, that works. Did anyone else feel that? Lizard. Man, it's like every attack either is going to do a thousand one way or the other. And they debarry you. Barrier you. Yikes. Did anyone else feel that? For even more wickedness. Let's go ahead and empower Mage Killer on you. Circle of Blight. Brutal Saw on you. Flame on everybody. Aim shot on you. Throw a major heal on the whole back row. <clears throat> cool. Fell scream. Paralyze. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Nifty. Wing hides. Guess that wasn't too bad. We needed those. Good XP too. All right. Sent down this way. Another yokai. Wait, there was a door here. Windows out. That's interesting. Huh? Oh, right. Fighting time. These things are robot warriors. Oh boy. Healing circle getting uh, mandatory. But I can go ahead and empower a shock on the whole gang. Hawk shot that one. And defend. You off the mortal coil. Good. Sir Sakani acts next. Dang, these robot warriors. Okay, one's down. I don't mind Arcane Blast. That hurt. Okay. Oh, still one more to go? Dang. Vengeance on you. Circle of Blight. Brutal Assault on you. Shock on the whole gang. Aim shot on you. And a major heal on the back row. Upgrade. Ooh. Physical damage up. Magical damage up. Uh oh. Cool. Rusty blades, machine parts. Stay down, me bag. Stay down. Pretty good XP. We're gonna head back pretty soon. Thanks, I guess. Did anyone else feel that? Just to say we've mapped the place.
So I think maybe all that time of fighting at half encounter rate, all the enemy surprises, this is going to be bad. Um, I think that kind of maybe put us at a disadvantage overall. Okay. All right. Attack. Um, healing circle. Attack. Empower shock. Oh, did we learn lightning bolt by any chance? No. Power shock. Bullwhip. And, um, you can't defend first turn here. You're gonna have to throw a major heal on the back row. You off the mortal coil. Upgrade. So you just gotta kill them before they get the upgrade going. Thank you for your consideration. Or else then you're in a lot of trouble. Oh, they act again. After upgrade. Iron Flame, dang. Okay. Okay, not too terrible. That feels good. It's Ancestral Vengeance. No, just attack. Brutal Assault. Shock. And you empower. Oh, you can't empower revive. Well, you go first, so go ahead and use the water of life. But you don't go first. That goes first. Dang. 1490. Huh. Three rusty blades. Stay down, meatbag. Stay down. Hmm. Ah. Let's go ahead and use a water of life. Restore formation. Okay, now she's out of magic, so. Go ahead and use some salves. Did anyone else feel that? Thanks. Actually, yeah, I wanted to get back here. Two strong salves. Um, so I don't want to waste any more salves. So let's just go ahead and Virgin's Crystal out. <sighs> Not too shabby of a first run. Let's head to the tavern. Um, quest board. 1,000 names of kings. Escort Foster into Labyrinth to proclaim dominion over Atlas Prime in the name of the king. Elven armor and elven cap. Okay. Hey there, maze boy. Don't you think it's a lovely day to kill some savages? Revel in the death throes of slain machinery? You have the honor of being my appointed escort down to the 12th station. Why do you ask? To declare domination over it. I don't care if Atlas Prime is a pit of four-armed heretics, writhing lava worms, and technological man-slaughtering robots. The 12th floor or 11th? If we can walk there from here, then that world belongs to the King of Doruk. Just like this dump of a tavern, just like the steel from which your haggard swords were forged. Oh, cheer up. There will be proper merriment along the way. This I assure you. I'm so excited. I'm not sure I'll be able to keep my mouth shut. Oh no. Okay. Let's go ahead and sell some stuff. Five gun parts. Drone parts. Blade core. Five shield fragments. Three fire scales. Four machine parts. Two titan ore. Two wing hide, which unlocks blizzard vest for sale. Five rusty blades, unlocked halberd recipe. Four staff gears, unlocks mage staff for sale. 
Let's check out the Blizzard Vest. Adds one to magic, one to physical defense, or 23 physical defense. This type of vest materializes on bodies that have frozen to death. To wear this vest is to wear an unfelt comfort, a gift from someone you will never meet. Um... Wow, we really haven't had upgrades in a while, it looks like. What is everybody wearing? Of course, there's the Dreadmail, which... Okay, full plate. Two attack and 20 defense, so probably not in the best interest to get the Blizzard Vest. The Dreadmails... They're doing three attack, three magic, five magic resist, five... Um... Or five magic defense, five magic resist. Still respectable 13 physical defense plus 5% of aid. So I don't think anybody can really use this except maybe mm, nobody. Ah, oh, we need more dark feathers for that. Sasho could use that. Oh, he's using Dreadmail though. So yeah, no real upgrade there. Um, we could finally get a Blizzard Hood for Arturius. It's either that or a Titan Cap. Does that three add to his range attack as well? What is he wearing? Chain Coif. Let me go ahead and save and find out because I don't want to waste the money if it doesn't. Let's buy the Titan Cap. Wait, what's the Titan Helm? No. Titan Cap. Um, put it on Arturius. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Wait. Oh, yes, it does. But he's using the Chain Coif with already had three attacks, so he gets five more magic defense. Not bad. Considering his magic defense is worse than the party by far. Because of lack of a blizzard hood. Um, armor is the plated vest. Let me go ahead and get him titan mail. Or a blizzard vest. Okay. Yeah, we'll get him a Titan Mail. And I want to buy two tokens, so I'm not going to spend any more. Go ahead and sell stuff. Plated Vest, Chain Coif, a Hawkeye. I don't know about that yet. Yeah, Hawkeye. Um, now we can also do some enchanting. I'm not sure what I was going to enchant now. Kings. Probably get the ancient Hawkeye. 61. But what he's using. Ancient hunting bow. is already a 64. That goes by agility. This goes by perception. His agility is higher, so he's better off with the bow. And as for you, with the pistol... No, you got the Tanigashima. You might as well just put on the Hawkeye. Go 
ahead and sell the Tanegashima. Oh, don't sell that ancient hunting bow, bro. Get that equipped back quick. Are you still ranged? No, you went to one handed. And Zostro went to one hand, okay. Um. Let's buy two C grade quality tokens. Using all that in, but it's worth it. We're gonna upgrade. And then Lorelia. And Milanza. I think Milanza thus far. Or Tilly. Tilly's a good one to upgrade. She's a soul caller. Her intelligence is so good. Um, but her healing could really benefit from more points. Um, let's go ahead and level up Milanza. She becomes a professor. Uh, Milanza Amaratsu. Sakani's still Sir. Zostra doesn't have a title. Aurelia is Lady. And I don't have a title either. I picked too many unknown origins. I don't know. Let's look at Milanza now. Very nice stats. The magic power will be greater. To rule the world with... Let's go ahead and save and uh, see how long we've been playing. 37 minutes already. Time just flies. Uh, is there anything else we can grab? Is the Hawkeye two-handed? Or no, the bow is, yeah. Also got Mage Staff. I think she's using the Rod of Breaking. The Mage Staff is a small upgrade. She's using the Serpent Staff. You're using Healer Serpent Staff. You're just using a Rod of Breaking. Which is, yeah. 5% block. Um, It's not really what her magic is 123. Wow. It's not really that much of an upgrade to get the mage staff from what I see just melee attack power once you burn the library torch the tomes severed me from my brethren you could not face the coming dawn so you made one of your own hunting bow power wand esther Oh, Esther adds five magic, right, but only when it's equipped. We went that route already. Halberd, or a fo forged bow staff. That'll be nice. Um, I guess we head to the inn. Rest. And we can't head back down, so we'll just save here and say thank you for joining me. Hope you're enjoying the LP and enjoy this video. Leave me a comment or something if you'd like. You don't have to, though. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate your viewership. Next time, we'll head right down into the labyrinth. And, uh, oh wait, we probably have time to do some level ups. 
One, one, one. Uh, how much time have we played? 40 minutes already. We'll go ahead and save here, and we'll do that next time, and then head right to the labyrinth. So, much love, peace, and joy, guys. Catch you then in big episode 40, 4-0. So long.